An attempt to divide the city of Franklin may end up doing the exact opposite. Yeah, that is what some city aldermen say they hope comes from this ongoing Gabriel Hansen's scandal in Williamson County. Thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Rory Johnston and I'm Carrie Sharp. We appreciate you being with us tonight. Last night, several of her colleagues joined together to publicly rebuke the Franklin Alderman and candidate for mayor, especially for her association with white supremacists. News Channel 5 chief investigative reporter Phil Williams first uncovered the scandal and Phil, this is an important story to this community. You know, without a doubt today at the Franklin Square, multiple people stopped me to thank me for our coverage. Gabrielle Hansen sometimes talks about her campaign campaign as being quote the new battle of Franklin. Now she's hearing directly from some of her own colleagues who say they are determined not to surrender to her and her white supremacist friends. What you see here in the last few months is not who we are, is not our city. Here in downtown Franklin, a town that prides itself on telling the truth about a war that divided a country. I think it's a time for truth because there's a lot of lies a lot of misinformation being told. Alderman Beverly Berger and some of our colleagues are now speaking their truth about Gabrielle Henson. If this had not been an election time, I can guarantee you, Alderman Henson, we would not be doing this. We would have already been sent, you would already have been censured by this board maybe multiple times. At Tuesday night's meeting of the Board of Mayor and Aldermen, several of Henson's colleagues had strong words, especially about her association with white supremacists who showed up at a candidate's forum last week in a show of force for Henson. This is exactly the seeds that you sowed in your harvest is now here. The alderman and now candidate for mayor blamed her colleagues for the divisions in the community, and she refused to denounce the hate group who said they were there at her request. She compared being a white supremacist to being a lesbian or being black. I'm not going to denounce anybody their right to be whatever it is that they want to be, whether I agree with what they do in their personal life or not. This morning, my text messages were blowing up, people thanking me for my comments last night, and people very appalled that she would not denounce the hate group that appeared here and our public forum. Alderman Berger has often voted on the same side as Hanson. For example, they both voted against allowing Pride Fest this year in a city park. The difference, Berger said, is Hanson wants to demonize those who disagree with her. I was saddened by her words last night, especially the words that I got here as, if I'm quoting it correctly. And it's easy to shift all the blame. I just happened to <laughs> arrive at a time where everything was starting to crumble. I didn't know Franklin was crumbling. I didn't think anyone uh, outside uh, the city hall, our constituents and our citizens have ever told us they thought Franklin was crumbling. Is it your mission to divide our city? Because you're doing a bang up job of it right now. And Berger wasn't alone in her condemnation. If it were allowed procedurally, I'd propose a censure tonight. Alderman Matt Brown pointed to Hanson's response to News Channel 5's investigation, posting a screenshot from the hate group warning, there is no political solution. Make no mistake, it is a call for violence. Alderman Hanson may not have written that phrase, but her sharing it publicly, specifically including that screenshot, is proselytizing and advancing that call for violence. We're a community that stands together against adversity. We will not be intimidated by you or those that wish to suppress our voices or negatively change our great city of Franklin. Brenty Blenta so delivered important. the most southern of jabs. I think we also are just still shaking our heads of how do we get here? How do we get here? And I look at you with your straight face and, and I bless your heart. Um, <laughs> and our board is so strong, we are going to make sure that our community hears us loud and clear. And like the square, Berger hopes Franklin eventually looks back to see this controversy as just another difficult chapter from its past. Alderman Berger told me that Ms. Hanson could cool tensions in the community by apologizing, including apologizing for spreading a false conspiracy theory about the Covenant School shooting. But as we've seen, apologies are not something that she has shown much interest in providing. And you mentioned people literally coming up to you on the Franklin Square there. 
Yeah, that was amazing. Coming up, wanting to shake my hand, stopping there at the roundabout, <laughs> blocking traffic just Asking to say questions, say thank yeah. you. Yeah. And it's the kind of emotion we don't always see. That's true. Phil, thank you.